hope you're all well. So today we're going to go through when you use weld and when you attach. And for me, with the weld, there's one very basic rule, and that's if it overlaps and you want it to all cut out as one on the same mat, then weld it. But more importantly, it's if your items overlap. That's when you really, really want to weld. So one thing that I always weld, no matter what, is cursive text. It just needs to be done. Whether you can see the joins or not, it doesn't matter. Please, please weld that text. You can clearly see with this one where all the joins are. And if you simply attach those, it's going to be a nightmare to weed and it's just going to look awful. So I always weld my cursive text. So I've got a image from Design Space here and I've added in two hearts. Again, if I just attach these, you're going to see where they join and it just doesn't look very nice. So again, if I weld it, it all becomes one continuous cut. I've got three individual flower images here from Design Space and I want to make them one. So I'm just going to work out how I want them to be. And again, if I was just to attach these, you're going to see all these joint lines down at the bottom. So again, because they're overlapped, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to weld them. And they'll just look like they're one continuous piece. So the one thing about welding is once you've welded something, you can't just unweld it. You either have to slice or use your contour tool. It's very difficult to just undo that. And my advice with welding is unless it's something you permanently want to weld, such as cursive text, then either save it before you weld it or make sure that you can undo it with either slicing or contouring. But if it's not a cursive text, I would definitely advise saving before you weld. But there is a, another way of doing it as well. So if it's not overlapping, then you can use the attach tool. And the attached can be then unattached. So that is something which you can change constantly, which is fantastic. So the thing with the attach tool is once you attach something together, it all becomes the same color. So you do have to remember that. So I've got an image here and everything is individual. So if we go to make it, you'll see that everything comes up on our mat as just a mess. It's all just a complete mess. And we don't want that. We want it to be on our mat the same way it is in our design space canvas. So if we go back, so if we go in and highlight all and we press attach, this will now cut out exactly as you see it. And then, as I've said, you can detach it so it's not a permanent change. So I've got this image here. And again, if we were to go to make it, all our pink would cut on one mat. All our yellow would cut on one mat. Our blue would cut on one mat. But it wouldn't be as we see it. And uh, unless you're happy to kind of do the layers individually it's just going to be an absolute nightmare so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is first of all ungrouped which it is so most multi-layer images will come in grouped you must ensure that before you make any changes that you ungroup it because if you don't ungroup it the change that you may make to say one bit, you will make to all of it. So if, for example, I wanted to weld these letters together so they all became one sentence. So if I hid all of these and I welded this, but I've not ungrouped it, all this will disappear. So make sure that before you make any changes, it's 
ungrouped first. So what I want to do is I want to attach each of my colour layers together. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to hide everything but my pink layers. If we then highlight and we go to attach, it will attach these as one layer. So it will cut out exactly like this. So I'm going to go and do this for each of my colour layers now. So if you look down my layers panel, you'll see that everything is still individual, but it's attached under one piece. So rather than individually unhiding everything, all I need to do is unhide each attached piece and it will all come up as one but it's actually all still individual so it's not welded it's all separate layers they're their separate colors but they will stay exactly as you see them so if we go to make it you'll see that everything still has its own mat they're still in their individual colors but on the mats, they are exactly as they are on your design space canvas. So you have two choices. You can either weld things, but as I say, I tend to only do this if they are overlapping. Because once you've welded it, it's very difficult to then undo that. And if it's just that they're close together or I want them to cut together in a certain way, then I'm going to attach them because I can change this at any point. As always, I hope this tutorial has been informative. Please do subscribe and leave any comments and I'll see you all again soon.